Hope there won't be any questions about the size. Hello, I'm Liver, and these are the top things you'd like to know about me. Even with 70% removed, a liver can regenerate and go about its work. I'm like a frickin' Deadpool. And that's why you can be a living donor and give a part of your adult liver to your child or wife. But let's take it one at a time. As the largest gland, I sit in the upper part of the abdominal cavity and I can weigh up to two kilograms. What do you mean, what for? So you don't croak! <laughs> okay, okay, to put it simply, I'm a sort of filter for the whole organism. The filter that's supposed to daily clear the blood of toxins, get rid of the old blood cells, make about a liter of bile to digest all the shit that you've eaten. I even got myself a bladder buddy to store all the bile. And for all the work I get, I'll tell you what I get, a bunch of diseases! Some numbers. About 2 million deaths a year are due to liver cirrhosis. 25% of adults in the US have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Just so you know, it's asymptomatic and also fatal. Moreover, there's alcoholic disease, viral hepatitis, liver tumors, and that's why liver transplantation is in such high demand. Don't worry though, there are symptoms that can let you know if something's not right with me. I won't hurt you, unlike your ex, because the nerve endings that transmit the pain are in a capsule. So if it hurts in your upper right abdomen, just below the rib cage, it means your liver is enlarged and the capsule is stretched. And that's not good at all. Jaundice. When your eyes or skin turn yellow, it's usually the first and sometimes the only sign of the disease. Ugh. Loss of appetite, abdominal distension, blood vomiting, pain in the right shoulder when it wasn't injured, disease, and extreme fatigue. These are all signs that we got problems, but honey, if you want the correct diagnosis, take a trip to your doctor. <laughs> if only I know that, I could have saved my liver, mom. <laughs> so. What do you do to make your liver as young, healthy, and beautiful as I am? You gotta care for it. You can unload it by sticking to healthy eating habits. To help with the bile flow, get some fats into your diet. Hot, sour, and bitter products can also stimulate the bile flow. I love it when you drink tea and relax. But there's one thing that your liver and I would be most delighted with. It's given up alcohol and bad habits. And I'll give you some advice as a bonus. Watch the Organismo channel, don't forget to call your mom, and look after yourself to live a long and happy life. Is that it? Cut. And stop getting drunk after 30. You don't need it. Why am I telling you this if he's gonna go get fast food anyway? Hey, intestines got more money for their video? What the f I'm not doing this anymore, I'm out of here. Yeah.